Hello, it's your girl Rochelle and welcome back to Embracing My Melanin. This is going to be my very first show review, okay? And y'all know what time it is. It's the dragon time, baby. Y'all, I'm going to do a high level overview, like a high overview review of it. Just the key things that just stuck out to me that made me say, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do that while I'm getting ready because I'm about to go out to dinner with um some friends that have come into town and they've come to visit me. Well, they only live like an hour and a half away. <laughs> an hour and a half away. So they said they might be going back tonight, but they might be staying the night with me, overnight with me. So we'll see. But anyway, okay. So let's get started, y'all. Okay, so let's start out with the fact that they started out the show back at Winterfell, right? In the north, right? And we got to see you, Cregan Stark. Cregan, Cregan Stark, right? Now, um, now, is it me or did it feel good to be back at Winterfell? Okay? And it, it, Cregan was like, you know, we keep our word around here. Like, you know, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you 2,000 men to, you know, go and fight this battle for your mom, but we can't leave because we got to protect the north, Right? I was like, all right, Cregan. But he's also the one that had to deliver the bad news to Jace. So he's probably being dead. I was like, oh. You're trying to protect us from death, and now you got to deliver word of a death. Like, mm, baby, okay? However, well, that's, that's just a quick overview. That wasn't that important, but it was important to know, like, you know, Stark's back on this thing, right? <laughs> right. All right. Next up, I will say this. Also, did y'all notice that Rhaenyra only said one sentence the whole episode? Because she was out there looking for her baby. That girl, ooh, that poor child, she was out there looking for her baby. She was out there looking for something to say to, to hopefully, like, not confirm or to confirm that her child wasn't dead, but she found that wing. She went to that beach. Those fisher, fishers or people on the beach was there. And Lord, they had the dragon wing and they had the baby jacket. And that's when she knew her baby was dead. But then she went on back on home. She went on back on home and she said one thing. She said, I want Aemon Targaryen. She was like, she ain't said nothing about bringing my brother Aemon. She was like, bring me Aemon Targaryen. Bring me that mother. Y'all? Child. That's what the girl said. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay. But other than that, she was out there looking for her baby. Hopefully trying to make sure that, you know, it was true. Because if there was it's one thing about a mama. A mama ain't going to want to give up on her child. Right? A mama is not going to want to give up on her baby. Right, and that was that was her baby, right? With strong man, <laughs> and she loved that strong, right? Okay, that's quick level overview. That's it. Okay. Also, did y'all notice that they invested a little bit more money in getting these people some better wigs with that platinum bust down? They got them some better wigs, y'all. Um, Rainis, Auntie Nisi. Auntie Nisi doggone it, hers wasn't sticking up like a cone, cone. Like mine is, it wasn't sticking up there no more. And the other girl, um, the other granddaughter, uh, Rhea, Raina, Damon daughter, the one that, that, those, those twists were sticking up and they were sticking up just a little bit too cone-ish, in my opinion. But they got them some better wigs this season, baby. It's a little bit better. Just saying, okay? Well, let's get to some of the high, high points, okay? First and foremost, okay? I just want to let y'all know, I am team black 100% all the way. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, baby. However, comma, I'm going to need team green. Y'all dummies, y'all need to start listening to Helena. Helena, excuse me, to Helena. If y'all don't start listening to that child, that child don't warn y'all so many times. How y'all don't know y'all got an oracle in the daggone family? How y'all don't know y'all got an oracle in the family? How y'all don't know? 
This child done told y'all a couple times. First time she said, what'd she say? She said, you have to close an eye. And what happened? I got closed, didn't it? Right? Then the child says something about the weaving of dragons and flesh and like she saw like the war was coming or something. If I could find <clears throat> what she was saying in that one spot, I promise you I'm going to put it on the screen. But that child was speaking some prophecy. You hear me? About them daggone dragons. Then the girl said what? She said, there's a beast beneath the board. And they ain't listen to that baby. They ain't listen to that baby. Now, what, and then what happened? What happened? Rainice came up through the boards on the daggone dragon in her armor, saying <laughs> she couldn't have blowed them to kingdom come. But what she did, she didn't do that. She didn't do that, right? She probably should have did it, but she said that wasn't her job. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I get it. However, Helena done told y'all, right? And what the girl done said this time, I'm not afraid of dragons. I'm afraid of rats. If y'all, if y'all don't start listening to this child, y'all got a full doggone oracle on y'all side. And <clears throat> I, I need my, I need my good sister dog to move on to the black side. I'm going to need her to move on to the black side. But. I don't, I don't mess with them greens. But if I got to mess with just one of them. It's going to be Helena. Because Helena don't be bothering no one. She be playing with her bugs. She be watching after her babies. And that's it. But they're going to listen to her one of these days. They better. The. <laughs> Let's go on to the next thing. On over to Aegon Targaryen. Now, Aegon, now he king. He's like, you know what? And it's like no one's addressing the main thing in the room. You know what? My brother done went and done killed her son. And she's going to want vengeance. So, you know what? Let's reach on out to a, a something. But nobody's not saying the most obvious thing like... Why y'all ain't jacking Eamon up and being like, yo, what was you thinking? Like, what was you thinking? You the one who just, this thing done deep dive into to straight war. Like, come, like, come on, nah. Ain't nobody dog want to address an Eamon and he coming up in the council meeting and Aegon like, oh yeah, like if I'm going to have anybody on my council, it should be my brother. He's my strongest soldier. Why not? What? Why would I not want Eamon here? Which... I get that. I get what he's saying. However, why you ain't jacking your brother up and being like, dude, like, come on now. I, even not in, in front of everybody, but in a side conversation. Ask him, like, what was you thinking? Like, I know you upset and everything because of the eye, my G, but, like, come on. Now, you, 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 the Vagar don't, don't change them into, into chicken nuggets. Into dragon nuggets. Oh, his little tiny little dragon. I'm just saying. Ain't nobody gonna address that. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody gonna just openly ad address that. Nobody. Okay. But I digress. But I digress. Okay. But but I will say this. Aegon. I don't like Aegon. I, Aegon be. S-A-N and R-wording women, let's not forget that. But I will say in this episode, he tried with that baby. He tried with that baby. He was like, where is Viserys? Let me go ahead and take him to the council meetings because it's time for him to start learning, right? It's time for him to start learning, you know, what he need to learn to be a king. Because he like, listen, my daddy ain't did this with me. So I'm going to have to do this with, with my son. I got to do this with my son. I got to train up my son to come in place after me. And right now, it's best for him to be in these meetings because there's a war happening. I'm like, okay, all right, Aegon, you want to you wanna teach the baby? Now, the baby young. The baby came inside that council meeting. And he was like, ooh, what's that? I want to play. Ooh, that's a toy? Ooh, let me in. <laughs> the Lannister. <laughs> the 
the Lannister guy, he like, listen, like little boy, you getting on my nerves. Go on away now. Give it back now. He was tired of that little boy who dog him within a couple minutes of that dog on meeting being started. It's like, come on now. Somebody take this baby back to his playroom so he could play. Lord Jesus, that was like, why you brought this baby inside here? I understand why you brought the baby in there, but why you brought this baby in here? Like, for real. <laughs> I will say this, though. Aegon was trying. He was trying, like, when they had the, um, the, 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 the free folk or whatever come and talk to him. And he was trying to, like, do right by them. He was really trying to, like, you know, um, okay, I'll get, like, the man was, like, you know, with the sheep and everything. Like, I done lost the profit. And everything. So I'm like, you know, I, I need some help. And the man was like, okay, we'll give you a sheet back. Aegon was like, we'll give you a sheet back. And he was, and then, of course, Otto. Otto sitting behind was like, uh, yo, that, we, we can't do that. If you do it for one, if you do it for one, all the rest of them going to come. He was like, well, how are people going to know? He was like, it's just one person. He was like, listen here, you the king. When you say one thing, it reaches everybody hears it. And uh, and then Aegon had to go back on his word. He didn't want to. He was like, like, okay, fine, we can help you out, dude. Like, Aegon, even though he trashed though, I think he be trying. You know, he be trying to do right by by the people. He was like, okay, you don't put me in this position. You don't put me in this position. Let me see if I can help these people out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Aegon trying. He trying. But boo, you really, you ain't supposed to be king. You is, because you don't know. You trying to do all this stuff and here it is. You got your, your grandpappy up here trying to dog on it, correct you at every turn. Boo, it's like, you don't know this. You don't know that this is part, like the sheep guy, that this is part of his, 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 um, tithes and offerings. For him to give 10% or 20% or whatever of his livestock to feed the dragons. Right? Chat. Okay, real quick. Let's go on over and let's talk about Rhaenys and Damon. Chat. <laughs> Rhaenys comes back from uh, securing something. I think it was a blockade. I'm not sure. But for securing something for... Uh, for their side, right, with um, Rhaenyra, with Ray Ray, okay? And she's trying to, she's doing that. She comes back, she's tired, her dragon tired, and here come Aemon, I mean, excuse me, Damon, that demon, Damon crazy behind saying, oh, get back on your mouth. We got to go out. We got to go, uh, uh, we got to go get Vega. I can't do it by myself, so I'm going to need you and and your and your dragon. She's like, listen here, I'm tired. My dragon tired. I need rest and food. Okay? So does my dragon. I'm not going out. And he's up there like, I command it. I I I I demand it. Oh, and she was like, Oh, if you were king, yeah, maybe. And he was like, listen here, Rhaenyra ain't around. She's scuffing her duty as queen. To go on with her duty as a mother. He was like, do you not understand this child that had another loss in the matter of what? Maybe like two weeks, maybe? Like this girl done lost her daddy, her crown, her, her, her crown to the throne. She done lost a baby and she done lost a son. What more do you want from this girl? She is... That girl is going out there to look for her baby. Let her go out there and look for her child. Okay? Now, I know you disagree with her being a mama and and, and trying to be out there doggone searching for her child, but guess what? She She's doing what a mother does because I did the same doggone thing. I did not believe my child was dead until you brought my child back home and I saw her remains. Okay? Leave that girl alone. Leave alone. Right? So... After she tells him, like, boy, you ain't got no power. You ain't got no power. Right? And in that moment, in that moment, I was like, okay, Rainice, Rainice, 
Rainice don't mess with Damon. She don't like Damon. She don't trust Damon. And she, <laughs> Rainice was like, oh, I would take that command if you was king, but you ain't king and you ain't the queen. So get the hell out of my face. I was like, oh, Auntie Nisi. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead. I got only two more points to make that really stood out for me, okay? So let's go straight for a son for a son which was the name of the episode, right? You got Bloody, who Damon hired, who was a part of the um, the uh, City Watch, right? So you got Damon hiring the guy that they call Blood and the rat catcher called Cheese. Rat catcher know his way around because he catches the rats in the doggone palace, right? Okay, fine. So they get on up there because they're looking for Eamon. Because remember, Ray Ray said that she wanted Eamon Targaryen. Okay, she ain't said she wanted no one else. She said, bring me Eamon Targaryen. Or she says, I want Eamon Targaryen. That's all she said. She didn't say dead or alive. She said, make sure you get that stone out of his head for, for whatever. All she said was, bring me Eamon Targaryen. Baby, child. Damon hires blood and cheese. And they get up inside there and they like, oh, we can't find, we can't find um, Eamon. Eamon ain't in his bedroom. He ain't in his bedroom. Like, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? Child. They go a little further. They walking around upstairs trying to be quiet, ain't being that quiet. And they, pa and first off, hold up. They walking around the palace all willy nilly. Ain't nobody questioning them about. Ain't nobody questioning about nothing. They passed the king in the throne room. Him Aegon up there getting drunk with some of his cronies. And everything. I was like, what in the world? Like people gonna see you, child? They pass Aegon. And his cronies, while well, they up inside that dog ain't talking about what they talking about, trying to like, oh, we got the power. Oh, our, our, oh, our boy on the throne. Like, you know, we could do whatever we want. Bop, 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 bop. Walk right on past them, and they go upstairs. Eamon ain't there. Of course he ain't. But then what they do, they stumble upon Helena. And the babies. Now, this is where, now mind you, before I got into House of the Dragon, the first season came out, I knew what was going to happen because of all of the fanfare leading up to um, the first season. So I knew where the story is going, but I wanted to see how they brought it to life. And they could it could have been a lot worse than what it was. Oh my God today, but it was still bad. So they stumble upon Helena. And Helena is like, yo, like, you could take my necklace. It's worth a lot of money. And she was like, he was like, all right, thank you for the necklace. But um, which one is the boy? And now, mind you, Blood was like, this ain't Eamon. Like, you know, and she was like, but he said a son for a son. So what we going to do? So Blood was like, well, okay, fine. Which one is the son? Which one is your son? And she's trying to bargain She's trying to bargain with the necklaces. Like, I have this necklace. You could take it. I won't tell nobody. He was like, thank you for the necklace. Now, which one is your son? And she points to her son, Jaharis. Because she had twins. Now, mind you, in the books, originally, she had the twins, Jaharis and Jahara, which they showed on the show. But she also had another son that was uh, named Magor or something like that. Or something like that. And, but this, in the show, they only showed the twins, Jaharis and Jahara. She points to her son, Jaharis. And what they do, they proceed to cut the baby head off. They, they took that baby head. 
Helena grabs her daughter and runs downstairs. She runs downstairs. She's getting away from it because she's afraid that she's afraid that they're going to come after her, hurt her, her her daughter maybe. So she runs downstairs, y'all. Why she go to her mama room and her mama is up there riding on Sir Crispy Chick, who is Kristen Cole. We'll come back to that later. She up there dog wanna riding on Crispin Chick's um pogo stick. Now let's talk about it, okay? Cause this is where I want to end up at. That Christian Cole, Kristen, Kristen, whatever his name, I call him Crispy Chick, okay? Crispy Chick and Allison, we're gonna open up in the beginning. He he laying in low and spreading the wide, and she getting her um her much much shown by Crispy. Now hold on, wait one second now, Allison. When this started, Alley Cat? Alley Cat, when this started. Alley Cat, we want to know when this started, boo. Because your husband ain't been gone that long. He ain't been gone probably a full 30 days. I don't even think it's been two weeks. How long has it been, boo? How long has it been going on? How long has it been going on? What you, what you, what you thinking, Alley Cat? Because you said Alley Cat. You was, you was up there... Dog wanted talking about Rhaenyra being, you know, flaunting stuff in front of people's face or whatever. Girl, we know what you're doing. Baby, we know what you're doing. You ain't fooling nobody. You ain't fooling nobody. We know exactly what you're doing. As a matter of fact, after that little munch session with you and Crispin, okay, Crispy, okay, well, y'all walk up inside that dog wanted um council meeting, your daddy side-eyed the hell out of you and Crispy. I saw, I was like, oh, daddy, no. I said, they ain't in ass auto. I said, auto, he, let's see here. Auto ambitious, but auto ain't no fool. Auto ain't no fool. Auto caught it the second y'all walked into that council meeting together. The second he side eyed the hell out of you and Crispin. Side eyed the mess out of you and Sir Crispin chick. So crispy. I don't like it. So now here it is. You taking Rhaenyra leftovers? Because he been butthurt about her choosing the crown, choosing the throne for how long now? It's been over 10 years. It's been over 10 years. He's still hurt. He's still hurt that she chose the crown over over spices, juices, and berries and oranges out in Essos. Oh, but he wanna he wanna bust it down on you. Girl, please. I got my thoughts about Christian Cole, and it's even more evident now that child he, he plotting just as hard as Otto, in my opinion. Cause now because now you busting down Ali Scent, child. So you just gonna start busting down out. Okay. And Allison, yo, like I said, Allison, wasn't you the one that I wanted to, calling Rhaenyra a whore and all this and what Crispin? Crispin was like, she a hoe and da 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 da. And y'all busting it down together and your man ain't been dead for dog wanted 48 hours. Your man ain't been gone 48 hours. Your man ain't been gone 48 hours, Allison. Your man ain't been gone that long for you to be spreading low for no dog on crisping chicks. Laying it low and spreading it wide. 
laying it low and just spreading it wide. Why are you doing that, Alley Cat? How long has been going on, Alley Cat? I, mm. This ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new that's been going on. This been going on for a while. And then, come to find out, you would think, oh, this is probably the first time it's done happened. What Alley Cat said, this can't happen again. Again? And Alley Cat, when your dog on a grandbaby, precious baby boy, getting his neck chopped off by Mr. Bloody and Nasty Cheesy, you up there dog on bouncing on crispy chicks pogo stick. Bouncing on the pogo stick. You trifling. You trifling. You want to sit up here and talk about Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra ain't never dog want to lie about who her kids belong to. She just presented it as her husband kids. And her husband ain't had a problem with it. So why you got a problem with it, boo? But you lying. Miss Judgy McJudgerson. Get on my nerves. When I tell you I don't like Allie Scent. I don't like Alley Cat. I don't. I definitely don't like Crispin Chicks. I don't like. Cri when I tell you, y'all, I don't. I don't like them, and this makes it even solidified by the fact that I don't like them even more. Cause I don't. When I tell y'all, I that damn Alley Cat. And Sir Crispin Chicks, let me tell you, I, I, I can't, I cannot stand, cannot stand them. I thought she said it can't happen again. And what happened again? Just like that. Just like that. Alley Cat, use a hoe. Use a whole entire hoe up in these streets and y'all been doing this for i don't care what nobody say i don't care who dog gonna be like no girl it happened after the king because you know that the king was deteriorating the king was deteriorating she needed some loving maybe the king was deteriorating maybe so maybe so because she you know she did have like what, what i heard somebody say color um the color purple sex with, with, with old King, you know, oh, okay, fine. However, you, you up there being judgmental against my girl, Rhaenyra, but you up here doing dirt too. Use a whole hoe. And like I said, nobody can't sit up here and tell me that this died after the King passed away. This happened while Viserys was still alive. I don't care what nobody say. You hear me? She was laying it low, spreading a while, dropping down and getting her ego on for Mr. Crispin Chicks. And I still... I thought you was about to kill yourself, Crispy, because you couldn't keep your word. Now all of a sudden, oh, you just... You just getting your munch on, letting her hop on your pogo stick. For, for, for why, Crispy? I thought you had your honor, Crispy. That's all I have is my honor. If that was a dog one case, you should have been okay when we're near a dog one said she didn't want to live on juices, berries, and oranges. You want me to be your whore? At least you didn't say out loud, yes! What you thought this was? What type of time you thought we was on? You know what I was about, and you was the one that went against your word for 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 honor and country or whatever the hell, being dog one of the kings, um, whatever not. You were supposed to keep your word, and you didn't. But now here it is. You want to blame it on this girl for all these years? Get out of here. Get out. But that was it, y'all. That was it for season. 
uh, two, episode one, A Son for a Son. I'm just happy that these dragons back. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is going to be a good season. Um, I don't know where it's going to lead to. I think someone, uh, I heard somebody um, say, oh, they could easily get three, four seasons out of House of the Dragons. And listen, I'm looking forward to it because they said that uh, there's a rumor that uh, uh, Duncan and Egg was going to be like the next season, uh, I'm assuming the next series as part of the Westeros Game of Thrones um, thing, like y'all, like part of the series, like y'all, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything that got to do with them daggone dragons. You hear me? Okay. <laughs> but that is it, y'all, because I gotta, I gotta go. I done got into it and I, I'm still gonna be late. I, Try not to be late. I'm still going to be late. But anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. And I will try to get my best to get season, episode two. A season season two, episode two. I'm going to try my best to watch that tonight. And probably record it tomorrow. Hopefully. We will see. But hopefully I'll get it up before episode three comes up. Because I, like I said, I'm just running just a little behind on all my shows. I still haven't watched Bridgerton. But... I still need to go back and finish watching Bridges in season two. So if that makes any sense. Okay. All right. But that is it. That is all. I'll see you guys next time.